Shepard retired as dean in 2013, a year after publishing his journalistic memoir, Deadlines and Disruption, My Turbulent Path from Print to Digital. For as many years of contributions as a journalist, editor, and founding dean, please join me in honoring Steve Shepard. We cover lacrosse, surely an elite sport, while largely ignoring stock car racing, which attracts millions of fans. We regularly cover the Ivy League and other elite colleges, but rarely examine community colleges, which educate nearly half of the undergraduates in the United States. We write about income inequality as an economic problem, but hardly ever look at its victims or their communities in working class America. We cover advanced medical research at our finest big city hospitals, but we did not understand the causes of the emerging opioid epidemic on the streets of Albuquerque, Louisville, or the rest of middle America. Is it any wonder that we in the mainstream media missed the story of the angst in America's heartland? 
Is it any wonder that we were thus stunned when Trump won the election? Hillary Clinton may not have gone to Michigan or Wisconsin, but neither did mainstream media. We just didn't know what was happening on the ground in many battleground states. Yes, for the most part, we blew it. Not just because our polling was wrong, but because our reporting was negligent. In the past, we might have relied on our strongest regional newspapers, like the Des Moines Register, the Detroit Free Press, or the Milwaukee Journal, to provide substantial reporting in the Midwest. But those papers have suffered substantial cutbacks in circulation, coverage, and staffing. Or we might have read Prussian trend stories in our three national news magazines, Time, Newsweek, and U.S. News. But two of them were essentially gone, and the other one is a shadow of its former self. It's true that we have fresh coverage from new outlets, such as Politico, ProPublica, BuzzFeed, Huffington Post, or the Texas Tribune. But they're not yet enough to offset the closed bureaus and cutbacks in mainstream media. Our profession must find a better way to cover middle America, blue collar America, working class America, whatever you want to call it. We need to widen our gaze, hire more reporters from diverse economic and geographic backgrounds, and change whatever elite attitudes exist in our newsrooms. None of this will be easy at a very tough time for journalism, but we have no choice. If the problem is indeed elitism in mainstream media, it's long past time we got over it. I'm really sorry if my remarks were a bit of a downer tonight. Uh, it is a festive evening. I'm grateful to all of you at SPJ for this honor, and I'm thrilled to be with you. Thank you all very much.